In the second video on the topic of preparing single entity financial statements on the basis of a trial balance, we will be continuing with the scenario started in the previous section, this time focusing on the statement of changes in equity and the statement of financial position. Let us begin with the statement of changes in equity, which for the purposes of the F7 exam should once again take on a standardized format. Always make sure to start with the heading. So this is the clarion statement of changes in equity for the year ended 31st of March 2015. The statement is essentially a comprehensive table which explains why the various elements of a company's equity changed between the beginning and end of the relevant period. We may therefore commence by noting the names of Clarion's equity components as featured in the trial balance, and that's share capital, share premium, and retained earnings. The last column should be reserved for the totals. As with the statement of profit or loss, we should also make the readers aware that the numbers displayed in any single column are going to be expressed in thousands of dollars. On the left hand side, the first line is going to be the balance as at the 1st of April 2014, the start of the financial year. However, before we are able to populate this row with numbers, we must first take account of the information contained in note number one, which reads, the equity shares and share premium balances in the trial balance above included a fully subscribed one for five rights issue at $1.60 per share, which was made by Clarion on the 1st of October 2014. Accordingly, in order to derive the opening balances for the share capital and share premium accounts, we must first compute the impact resulting from the rights issue. The equity shares have a nominal value of $1 each, so a balance of $30 million implies that there are 30 million ordinary shares in issue. Given that the rights issue involved shareholders buying one new share for every five already held, the opening number of ordinary shares must have been 25 million, making for $25 million of opening balance, with the number of new shares issued totaling 5 million. These 5 million new shares were sold for $1.60 each, producing a premium of 60 cents above the $1 nominal value per share, or $3 million as measured for the entire issue. The share premium is carried at 5 million in the trial balance, implying that its opening balance at the 1st of April 2014 must have been 2 million. The retained earnings total, as stated in the trial balance, is 8,600, and this is expressed as at the beginning of the year, so we may insert this number directly into the first row of the statement of changes in equity. When we now total the three opening entries, we arrive at 35,600. The subsequent three rows of the statement will present the changes caused by the rights issue itself, the payment of dividends to shareholders, as well as the addition of the profit for the year to retained earnings. As we have already established, the rights issue involved shareholders taking up 5 million new ordinary shares, causing a 5,000 increase to share capital, and a further 3,000 to share premium with a total 8,000 upward impact on equity. The next line is going to be dividends paid, and that's a 3,900 debit balance taken directly from the trial balance, which we must deduct from the retained earnings column. And finally, in the previous video, we computed Clarion's net profit for the year to be 8,000. 280, and this figure is also taken to retained earnings, this time with a plus sign. 
when we now compute the balances at the 31st of March 2015, we arrive at 30,000 in respect of share capital, 5,000 for share premium and 12,980 in respect of retained earnings, producing total equity of 47,980. We may now shift our attention to the statement of financial position as always, starting with the relevant heading, so that Clarion, statement of financial position as at the 31st of March 2015. Starting with non-current assets, we have property, plant and equipment, with that initial 77,000 cost, less than 19,000 of accumulated depreciation, adjusted for the depreciation charge in respect of the year just ended, which is an extra 15,400, producing a carry amount of 42,600. Next in line are investments through profit or loss, which as per the information contained in note 4 should be reported at six and a half million dollars. And this item completes non-current assets, which therefore come in at 49,100. Current assets begin with inventory, which is sitting in the trial balance as a debit of 11,700. Next come trade receivables with a carrying amount of 18,500 and finally cash deposited at the bank, which equals 3,900. Overall current assets come in at 34,100, making the assets total 83,200. Crossing over to equity and liabilities, we start with equity and repeat the balances already derived in the statement of changes in equity. So that's share capital of 30,000, a share premium of 5,000 and retained earnings equal to 12,980, which provide a total of 47,980. On to non-current liabilities, which begin with the 8% loan notes. And as we already established in the previous module, the figure reported in the trial balance must be adjusted for the fact that one quarter of the notes were in fact redeemed, leaving the balance at 15,000. Next is the deferred tax liability, which we already computed in accordance with the information contained in note 5 as 25% of 12,000 or 3,000. The next item is the environmental provision which had a carrying amount of 4,000 at the 1st of April 2014 and was subsequently adjusted upward for the unwinding of the discount equal to 320 giving a result of 4,000 320 and a grand total of 22,000 320 for non-current liabilities overall. Within current liabilities we find trade payables which are carried at 9,400 as per the trial balance and current tax payable of 3,500 as stated in note 5, producing a total 12,900. When we sum the totals computed in respect of equity non-current and current liabilities, we arrive at 83,200, a result identical to that derived for total assets.